Hello again and uh, welcome to FXDD live trading webinar. Today, February 11th, we are here. Let's see if markets are moving. Uh, have some trades running, but uh, some of those are in drawdown. I will show them and we will scan for potentially new setups. Before I start, have in mind that Forex trading carries a high level of risk. That is just true for everyone. Please ensure that you fully understand risks involved before you start trading live. Everything you see and hear from us is our personal opinion only. Uh, on these web addresses, you can sign up for more live educational and trading webinars. Now, let's open the charts and let's see what we have here. So, I went with a short on the Australian dollar, as we see, but the market is pushing up. Uh, today, we have uh, the trade is still running. My stop loss on the FXDD platform is placed at 65.93. So as long as these trend lines hold here, we won't see an uh, uptrend. But if the price breaks and closes above, we will probably see a change of the trend. So uh, this is something that I currently have. Also, GBP dollar, uh, my original uh, short trade went in a nice uh, profit of 20 pips, but now... The price is pulling up, so I shorted it here. I went against my system because today's news were not that good for the GBP despite the trade balance factory uh, uh, data and the GDP were not very, very exciting. So I still think that the price could reject from this level and maybe drop. However, we will see what will happen, but as I say, uh, there is a possibility that the market will eventually eventually uh, go up and then we will be in uh, no man's land we will still be we, we still need to wait then for the next uh, decision on the gbp dollar so at this point uh, as you can see markets are not very very decisive uh, however uh, we might expect uh, continuation of trend moves very soon after all retracements have been completed okay so we are still there waiting to see what the market will eventually give us. Uh, I will scan for more trading opportunities. Uh, I went with Euro Yen today short, closed it for 21 pips uh, because the market hit this important pivot and made a double bottom, so I closed it. Now it's trying to push up, so we might actually have uptrend move. You see market is trying to push up on the Euro Yen. Uh, and this will be seen again as a retracement on four-hour time frame. So the market is still not uh, very, very, very uh, bullish. It might go up and I will be looking to short it again. Uh, let's see other trading opportunities. Uh, here on the GBP dollar, the price is moving up, but it's bearish. This is the last bearish uh, possibility here in this zone. And on 15 minutes, it went bullish. So we will see if the market drops then it will be good because I have entries to the short side. Australian dollar, New Zealand trying to push up, but the price is a bit above the channel. So I will leave this as it is. Dollar CAD, wow, dropping, of course, crude oil data later. We will be waiting for new setup. GBP Swissy went up heavily on the GBP strength. GBP Australian dollar, you see it, it's dropping because of the Australian dollar strength. And we have a potential setup to the short side. I'm thinking maybe about making a short trade. Let's see, one hour is bearish, four hour is bullish. No, don't no setup here because of the, you see the difference. Four hour is bullish, one hour is bearish. 15 minute is bearish, no setup on the GBP Australian dollar. I won't be trading this. As I say, I have the short on the GBP dollar. And uh, it's active currently, so we will see. My short is at 29.35 on the GBP dollar. Stop loss on the FXDD account is 29.77. So we will see if the stop loss will get hit or not. So, yeah, let's see and let's wait and see. GBP dollar is intraday bullish, but overall it's still bearish. 
euros we see nothing here gbpn oh going up all of these crosses are going up but as i say it's not overly bullish it's still you see in the channel we need to wait for trends to develop euro australian dollar dropping four hour bearish one hour bearish but it hit atr pivot so it needs a pullback and if the market goes like this i will short it definitely euro cad no trade here australian dollar yen bullish move new zealand dollar a lot of lot of changes in the trend i'm trying to scan some movements and see if the market will give me an entry anywhere but i don't see it really oil let's see forex factory calendar crude oil data it's important today crude oil is uh, scheduled let me quickly log in so we have yeah tomorrow actually it's crude oil so we can effectively trade the dollar cat and oil let's see oil 15 minute is bullish one hour is bearish four hour is bearish now nah. again discrepancy in time frames one hour bearish four hour bearish 15 minute bullish so it needs to break effectively this low for an entry lower we don't see it right now gbp cad bullish one hour in the zone nothing here when the price is in the zone it needs to be aligned so i can take an entry you see four hour is bullish one hour is uh it needs to break this high for me to go long but it's close to resistance so only 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 when time frames are aligned i take trades in in here in the zone this is similar for the gbp dollar here if I see that one hour candle closes as a dark cloud or something, I will make new entry. I have 29.35 short entry here. So it will depend on this candle. I might make one more entry. I'm using a bigger risk here, 1% uh, of risk because I covering, I'm covering uh, 40 pip loss. If I get at least 20 pips, I will cover for the whole loss. I already had uh, 20 pips today, but I didn't close it. I expected more, honestly, from the gbp dollars so we will i will wait and this account guys that i'm trading you can follow it on my facebook it's 600 uh, percent up so i'm effectively risking only from profits now deposit is not at the risk deposit is ten thousand dollars profits are uh sixty thousand total seventy thousand on the account you can follow it on my facebook tarantula fx so let me quickly give you the link okay let's see new zealand or cad yeah nothing here but i'm interested to see this gbp dollar 15 minutes above the channel so gbp dollar could reject would be nice to see rejections here xau usd gold yeah this could go up i'm looking to buy the dip one hour 15 minutes let's see one trade if i get one two three to the long side i'm going to go long on gold this is what i'm waiting now Australian dollar Swiss C, I'm, I'm short here. The market is going up, but I eventually I went into a short base on this. 
pink dot. And again, I had 20 pips. Now it's, you see, it's struggling to break it. But I'm short. I'm leaving these trades. I always leave my trades running. And this is something that I always follow my own methods and strategies. That is why I'm always in profit. Okay, here. Euro yen. I'm looking for a short if the market makes something like this. One, two, three, and then. Uh, otherwise, I won't be shorting it. This could be a trend change. So, guys, this is it, basically. My trading ideas for today. Longs on XAU USD. Wow, this is going up. 15-minute time frame. This could go up. So, my ideas. Longs on XAU USD. Short on GBP dollar. And, uh, yeah, I'm leaving... Uh, dollar Swiss uh, short running, maybe euro yen. If I see one to three, I will go short. If you have any questions, guys, feel free to ask me. Uh, basically, this is it. Uh, I don't have anything more to add except for these are my trading ideas. And let's see if we get something to trade later on. But I still think bias to the GBP dollar is to the short side. Let's see if I'm correct. Uh, 30 0, 0 should stay strong. I might make one more short attempt if my stop loss gets hit, but otherwise I'm still leaving my short running. I don't see any questions, so I guess everything is clear. Let's see. So uh, hope that we will make profits again on these trades and that we might make XAU USD long because gold is one of the best markets in 2020. Talk to you soon, guys. Cheers and trade safe. This webinar is being recorded and it will be uploaded to YouTube channel FXDDD. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Trade safe.